Okay, um, let's quickly jump start our princess dance. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm not going to be using anybody's body measurement. I'll be drafting it out with my, with my pen and my pyro. I hope you can see it well. Mm, let me check. Okay, let's our shoulder line. Let's get our shoulder line. Not only, um, uh, the measurement for shoulder line is between seven and eight. Seven and eight. Yeah, measurement for shoulder line. Then the armpit is between eight and nine. And for any one, big or small. Okay. Um. Welcome back to my channel. Please remember to subscribe. So I'm going to be drafting out um, princess touch with my hand with no one's um, nobody's uh, measure body measurement. So normally uh, shoulder line uh, for adults is in between seven and uh, eight. Seven, eight, nine. Let me put it that way because there are some bigger people. So shoulder shoulder line. It's normally seven, eight, or nine. Let me just put it down there. The armpit is mostly eight and nine. Yes, eight and nine. Armpit for normal human. For normal human. So they just draft out the armpits. I'm drafting out the armpits. Then the breast point. Breast point is always between nine. 10 and 11. Yes, 9, 10, and 11 of any normal human. Yes, it can be. I've not seen anyone being tall at a breast one. Probably very big, tall and big. And the under boss from breast one to under boss is a 3 4. Yes, the, the highest is 3 4 inches. 3 4 inches this is breast point breast point and this is um and this is under post under post this is under post mm, so let me just put it this way ah stupid and under post this is what i'm using then the waist the waist okay this is the waist This is the way. Mostly, um, ladies' waist, half waist, is um, is between fourteen to seventeen. Yeah, if you are very short, not too big, not big and short, fourteen, fourteen and a half, fifteen, fifteen and a half, sixteen, seventeen. Ah, it's only like that. Fifteen, seventeen. So, um, so right now we are going to fish out the. Nipple to nipple measurement. Nipple to nipple measurement is mostly um, seven eight. Yeah, seven eight. So far that I've seen that I've come across is seven eight. And you divide it just at the normal measurement. You you have to put inside your head. I'm sorry, I'm putting it this way. You have to keep that inside your head. Nipple to nipple measurement is. 9 8 depends on how big that person is. Then divide it by 2 because this is always in 2. So you're going to open it down for you to get out your full front chest. And always remember your neckline, your neckline 3 to 3, 3 to 4, depends on how long you want it to be. Let's assume this. This is my. This is mine. All right. So let's go back to this. Nipple to nipple, uh, eight. So divided by two is a uh, four. Nipple to nipple, eight divided by two, four. Nipple to nipple, eight divided by two, four. Then we bring this down. Bring this down. Draw a line. Draw a line down. Then note. Your bust point, that is your nipple point, uh, measure one up and measure one down. Take note, measure one up and measure one down. 
Because with this, just because you don't have a French cup, if you have a French cup, yes, you don't need all this. But if you don't have a French cup, measure one cup and measure one down. With your French cup, when you place it here, it will measure the one down before it's cup. Measure it up before the cup. You get then your under bust, just for it to have that shape because your nip, your bust, bust is out for it to go down. They measure one or one and a half. I'm going to measure one and a half here. But no, whatever measurement you measure here, remember to add it back to your to your uh, body measurement. That is, this is one and a half. This is one and a half. We're making three, right? With this three, you're going to add it to your measurement. It's different from your sewing allowance. Yeah, it's different from your sewing allowance. So you're going to add it back here. So bring this down bring the one down bring this one down because it's one and a half one and a half bring them down after bringing them down please look your one is here your one is here it is from this one you are going to use to curve your bra to curve your your bust you can do it this way you can do it that way you can do it in any way but i'm doing it to my hand paint so I'm from the bust point, I'm bringing it down to the one I measure up. Then I drew it down to my armpit. So from here, from this same bust point, I'm trying to get to this point now. From this same bust point, I'll bring it down to that one, then use my free hand to curve it to this. If I use my French French um, curve, it will still give me this. So I'm doing the same thing from the boss point. I'm bringing it down to this so that I can get, you know, it's bringing out the shape. It's, being, it's not too sharp and it is not too, I don't know the other English I'm going to use. Then from up here, put your one inch or half inch, anyone you want. And also remember to bring this up to get another because by the time you cut it here, when you cut it here, no, see when you cut it here, this will come down. You can see this line down. Why this line is like that is this will go in. For it not to be this way, you just try and bring it out and shape for another shape of arm pins. Another shape of arm pit. The arm pit is formed. So this is ring ring. Instead of you covering it this way, you're going to cover it this way. So you are cutting this up, then cutting this down. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Then bring this in to your arm, uh, to your bust, to your core. It's so simple. Hmm? It's simple, it's simple, it's very simple, simpler than you even think of. Look, I just bring this down to here, then to here, then from here, curve your hand to this place, then down. Then from this first point again, go to your wall, then bring it down, bring your hand out. So that by the time you sew, by the time you so them together, this and this will be the same length. You are going to cut all this out. You are cutting this shape, cutting this shape, cutting all this. You are cutting this out. Now let's cut it out. So this is it. So so simple. I didn't cut off the neck. I didn't even cut off the neck. Okay. This is it. Now uh, there is a point I want to bring out here. Remember, I asked you 
to stretch your hand out of the armpit for us to get um, another shape of armpit you can see what it is now look at where the line was as we we didn't cut it out then the, this line this shape will be here it will be here and it will form this way we have to cut that means we have to cut the shoulder in just so to get a normal shape but well, because we've stretched our our length out and we curve it again you can see it balance it balance with it and by the time you sew it together it's going to be this way hmm? we are really getting it so the next thing we'll be doing is to input our body shape our body shape so let's input our body shape let's assume our bust our bust is a uh, five let's put five just because we didn't cut anything out of from this we didn't cut anything out from this we'll put it for the measurement then add two inches allowance if you know you're not good at it you can have two and a half but and i know what i'm doing i'll be adding two let me just add two inches because um a customer might want you to have an allowance inside the dress in case if if she get fatter you can she can reduce or reshape or resize it so for this on that bust when you do your body measurement of on the bust let's assume it, let's assume it is five remember from year to year one and half one and half that we cut off from here is going to be three and you add your three into it. Please ignore, ignore this, ignore these numbers because we are just breaking this out of our head. So we add this into the day. Remember to add your allowance, which is two. Add your two into it. The same thing goes to the waist. The waist to your the circumference of the of your shape, your round measurement divided by four. The under bust, the round measurement divided by four, your bust point, round measurement divided by four. The same thing goes to this. Remember to add the three, three inches, three inches, then two inches allowance, then two inches allowance. That is just, it's as simple as that. Yeah, then you cut it off. By the time, you start sewing, you bring this in, this shape will go in, and this will still be out. Hmm? This will still be out, and this will, will be in. So, that is for princess darts, princess cuts, princess, princess darts. Let me put it that way, princess darts. Thank you. Let's go to Bostia. Yeah, we are going to trust here. We are going to remove the uh, what's it called? We are going to remove the uh, the yoke. With this, I can as well go into the posture this way. Yeah, let me use my paper to isolate it to glue it together. Let me see. Okay. I'm going to the posture this way. Put this together. Yeah, let's put this together. Let's go into our post here. Depends on the, your neck, how you want your body to show. I really don't want lots of my, I don't like it when my body comes up like that. So I'll just put it this way. Put it this way. Let me use this now. Then okay, cut it off this way. From here to here, which is the nipple to nipple, divided by two, which is four, I will as well do the same. From here to here, nipple to nipple, which is will be four. Bring it down. Here. I'll bring it down here. Then from here, 
to hear was uh, measure it then from year to year I will just put one or half inch and this I can bring this up a bit I can bring this up a bit then bring this down no big deal I'm going to cut this off we are going to measure, do the measurement again. I just want to tell you that from your princess that you can also bring your posterior shape out. So let's cut this out. Let's cut this. Then cut this. Cut this. Open this out, then put the other other side of this place into this place. And you're true. By the time you join this together and join this together, then your curve is standing like best cake. You don't understand. Your curve is all right. You don't even have to put on bra. Okay? Your curve is whole cake. So let's go into the bust here. Deep. Okay. 